After a long period of sleeping in the cave, Blue Origin's new Glen Bear is finally about to awaken to be ready for his first official mission in August next year. More notably, during the upcoming maiden launch, unlike any rocket that only targets space, Jeff Bezos' rocket even wants to go further to Mars. It's safe to say that this is not feasible because almost no vehicle enters orbit on the first attempt, and Mars is a fascinating remote place that challenges all working rockets, let alone a rocket that hasn't flown yet like New Glenn. So, is that goal realistic or just a way to market the company's name? And if Jeff Bezos is serious about it, how close is Blue Origin's New Glenn to a maiden flight? Discuss everything about this in today's episode of Tech Map. But before we begin, our team extends a warm welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. With that in mind, let's jump straight into today's episode. In February 2023, NASA awarded Blue Origin's New Glenn the Escape and Plasma Acceleration and Dynamics Explorers Escapade contract. Escapade is part of the NASA Small Innovative Missions for Planetary Exploration Program. It is a dual spacecraft mission to study Mars' magnetosphere. Accordingly, the rocket will carry two D-type spacecraft to Mars around 2024, and those two spacecraft will measure plasma and magnetic fields around the Red Planet in two different locations at the same time. The collected data will help scientists learn more about the processes that strip away atoms from the magnetosphere and upper atmosphere, which drive Martian climate change. Everything will be off the table if this mission is taken by an operational and reliable rocket like SpaceX's Falcon Heavy. But in reality, BO's orbital rocket will serve it. The point is that nothing on New Glenn has been proven yet. The engines have not even flown once to space. Blue Origin hasn't rolled a full-scale New Glenn rocket out to the launch pad for testing, including propellant loading and countdown rehearsals. Indeed, despite being born in the same era as SpaceX, Blue Origin has not been able to develop the system as quickly as expected. While Elon Musk's Falcon 9 has broken many records for the number of launches, Jeff Bezos' only orbital rocket, the new Glenn heavy lift rocket, is just entering the final stages of the development cycle. According to the latest news, the company's launch pad at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida is complete and production of rocket parts is underway at the Blue Origin factory. Most notably, potential New Glenn first-stage flight hardware was spotted outside at Blue Origin's campus near the Kennedy Space Center. However, there is a paradoxical that, despite the slow pace, the company is confident enough in its ability to launch New Glenn in less than a year. There's probably a lot more going on behind the scenes as Blue Origin has tried to keep most things under wraps, revealing only a little about the rocket's progress. In August, Blue Origin provided a rare look inside its factory at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, KSC, showing hardware for its new orbital rocket. The image showed the rocket stage and interstage components and propellant tank domes for the new Glenn rocket on the factory floor in Florida. The post provided no details, so it was not known if the image shows test articles or potential flight hardware. During a panel at the World Satellite Business Week, Blue Origin's Jarrett Jones stated, Blue Origin has four boosters in various stages of production, and testing is going well. In addition to the production of New Glenn, Blue Origin by then was busy preparing LC-36, to support the testing of the hardware being manufactured. In the first half of this year, there were a number of tests occurred, including testing the main transporter of the rocket, flight hardware, and New Glenn's upper stages on the pad. Most notable, the rocket's heart, the BE-4 engines were qualified to fly the CERT-1 mission. The inaugural Vulcan Centaur certification launch under the contract between BO and ULE but we have to wait no earlier than Christmas Eve to see it perform for the first time and then make a judgment on its reliability. Not to mention one of the BE-4 rocket engines failed miserably in a test on June 30th, which was attributed to poor workmanship. 
This also raised concerns about the risk of failure in its upcoming launch. With the current production speed, the timeline in 2024 is considered very ambitious and risky. Blue Origin, furthermore, is famous for its history of delays as the first launch of the new Glenn rocket was originally scheduled for 2020, but is now four years late. This leads to the big question, will it be ready on time? Perhaps when deciding to launch a real scientific mission on such a controversial rocket, NASA was aware of the possible risk that the program would be delayed indefinitely or in the worst case. The mission would fail, resulting in the burning of millions of taxpayer dollars. However, the space agency also has its reasons. First, Escapade is relatively low cost, with a budget of approximately $79 million, significantly lower than any mission NASA has sent to Mars in recent history. This allows NASA to accept some additional risks. The agency wouldn't be comfortable putting a billion-dollar Mars mission on any unproven rocket. Second, this mission was a Class D mission described as low priority and high risk. NASA also points out that Class D has significant alternative or reflying opportunities. In short, in economic terms, NASA got a good deal from Blue Origin on this contract. Procurement documents suggest the deal is worth $20 million, a price tag that reflects the risk of launching on the first flight of a new rocket. Conversely, the space agency has to trade off by taking a little more risk on an unproven rocket, including slightly different deliveries and the increased risk of delays. Anyway, the debut of this much-delayed rocket fired the public up since finally the United States can have one more viable space access provider that rivals SpaceX in heavy rocket terms. This not only promotes competition in the market, but also enhances an advantage for the United States in the space race. In fact, like Falcon 9, New Glenn is a reusable rocket whose first stage booster is designed for a propulsive vertical landing. And according to Blue Origin, the rocket is designed to fly at least 25 times before it is retired. Before re-entry, the rocket will perform a flip maneuver after first and second stage separation. Then, the booster lands vertically after a landing burn to reduce its speed, unlike the Falcon 9. Though, the new Glenn aims to attempt a landing for its first flight as well, if our reading of publicly available information is correct. In contrast, SpaceX flew the Falcon 9 several times before testing a propulsive landing and conducting the first such maneuver on land. Like SpaceX, Blue Origin also makes its own engines, namely BE-4. But unlike SpaceX, the BE-4 engines are more powerful than their Merlin counterparts, but their chamber pressure is less than that of Raptor. Instead of just providing for itself like SpaceX, BO also provides for its customers. In terms of payload capacity, it is designed to carry as much as 45 metric tons to low Earth orbit, LEO which is nearly twice the capacity of the Falcon 9. Like SpaceX, Blue Origin will also use New Glenn to build out a satellite internet constellation and other missions, including a lunar lander for NASA's Artemis program. If New Glenn successfully flies and becomes operational, SpaceX's Falcon 9 will face a larger rocket that could also reduce costs in the long run by saving on early stage booster production costs. However, while New Glenn promises to deliver 45 tons to LEO, SpaceX's fully reusable Super Heavy Starship will more than double this capacity by aiming for at least 100 tons. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.